Here we are with my HP DL380 G3. I'm going to go ahead and uh, boot it up and install ESXi 3.5 on it. So here we go. It's going to boot off the CD-ROM and then pretty much install itself. We have the boot up. The ISO is loading and it's starting to install. Alright, now all I'm going to do is press enter and it will begin. F11. Yes, we want to install it on the only drive in the machine. It has existing data, but we're going to go ahead and overwrite it. Alright, ready to install. Here we go. really goes pretty quick. It is successfully installed, so now all I gotta do is take out the install media, which is right down here. Pop it out. Close it back up. Alright, now all I gotta do is press enter.
It's going to shut down the server, restart, and it will be in ESXi. Then all we got to do is set up our password and we'll be ready to administrate it. We'll have to do that remotely through the uh, web interface and it'll give you a program to download. Once you do that, you can start installing VMs. Getting ready to boot ESXi for the first time. There it is. That's all you ever see on the machine itself. We got one option we can do, or two options. One is customize the system, and two, shut it down. So we're going to go ahead and hit F2 and customize. And here's the only options you're going to get. We're going to go ahead and configure a root password, and then we can uh, connect into it with the virtual interface. So a root password. It doesn't have one yet, so. The one I make will be the only one. And there we go. Now we've got a password so that we can log in. There's a few other options here, but most of it is automatically configured to DHCP. We can change the keyboard layout, but the default works fine. Here's a little bit of system information. It'll tell you the serial number if you've got one installed. I've got one. I just obviously just installed it, so it doesn't have it yet. Any system logs you may have. And that's it. Go ahead and hit escape, and you'll log out. And it'll go back to its regular screen.